Hello, this is Henito, and today we are going to continue our escort mission with Eileen. Last time I didn't really have time to do it, so yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, 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 I'm not ready. Just a second. Just a second. Now I'm ready. See that? See that, Eileen? You are... Oops. That's, that's not what I meant to do. You are, you are totally safe with me. I've got my revolver and I'm, I'm totally ready to, to protect you. Okay, let's go downstairs then. Oh god, get out of the way! No, don't stamp on her, Henry. I just want her to get out of the way. Because we need to take Eileen back to the apartment, which I'm sure will definitely work out how Henry thinks it's going to work out. Yes, yeah, sorry, I don't have any patience for you right now. Um, I am. I hope I'm not going to regret using using these bullets for this because I know I'm going to have boss fights at some point. So I may regret using up my revolver bullets to protect Eileen. But you know what? I'm going to stand by my decision for now. Come on, Eileen. Hopefully, you will actually. Follow me. Well, colour me surprised. Eileen didn't come with us, in fact. Come on, Henry, get out of bed. We have things to do. Do you want to leave Eileen in the other world? Because I don't think you do. Okay, so Eileen did not come with us. Excuse me, who's breaking my windows? Yeah, I don't want you to... Okay, let's go and see who's breaking our windows. Eileen? The air in this room feels heavy. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, our ceiling fan fell down. The ceiling fan has fallen down. This room, it's so oppressive. That is a sentiment I'm sure many people can sympathise with, Henry. Let's look through the hole. Maybe Eileen's in her room. Nope, it's just Robbie being Robbie. Ooh, we've got a note. Okay. It's a red envelope. Interesting. There's a letter and a small key inside. You've seen that world as well. That horrible nightmare. But if you get sucked into it, it's not just a nightmare. Don't get lost in there. If you get pulled in, you'll be killed. But there's still hope. Maybe this small key will guide you. If you've seen the door with the placard set in it, look on the other side of the door, then keep going down to the deepest part of him and look for the ultimate truth. Okay, so door with a placard, look on the other side of the door. Okay. Joseph. Oh, he's the journalist who disappeared, I believe. Small but ordinary key found in the red envelope. 
Okay. Anyone out there? Nope. Still nothing. Okay. Oh. What the hell? The weather that day was very strange. Even though I avoided the earlier storm, there was still a thick fog clinging to everything. Unfortunately, that allowed me to avoid being seen and get right to work. The police are still stubbornly acting as if it's just a copycat case, so I figured things probably hadn't been touched here. But I was wrong. I should have come sooner. The cemetery was in such bad condition that it was almost sad. The storm must have raised the sea level. Anyway, that's how it was when I found Walter Sullivan's grave. Oh my god, what? Excuse me? Why are you trying to find the corpse of a serial killer who belonged to a weird cult? This diary is pretty badly damaged around this point and I can't read any more. I'm still in shock. There was no body in the grave. And on top of that, written on the coffin were the numbers 1121. Interesting. How long has it been since I left this room? I can't tell if it's been days or hours. But during that time, they found the body of 1421. I've been having hallucinations lately. I think I'm losing my mind. Walter Sullivan did kill himself. He died in his prison cell of blood loss after he stabbed himself in the neck with his spoon. Excuse me? The man stabbed himself with a spoon? Okay, so Walter made himself his 11th victim? That's not fucked up. His body was buried in a cemetery just outside his hometown of Silent Hill. That was your first mistake in an unmarked grave. After that, his name became famous all over the world, and it looked like his string of mass murders was finished at 10 out of 21. But three years later, they found a corpse that had 1221 carved in into it. The corpse was from six months earlier. In other words, the person was killed two and a half years after Walter Sullivan committed suicide. The MO was exactly the same as Walter Sullivan's, except for one thing. All ten of, Walt of Sullivan's victims were found with their hearts cut out and their chest wounds sewn together expertly with thread. On the other hand, the 1221 victim still had their heart. Naturally, the police think it's a copycat and are proceeding on that basis, but they haven't made any progress and recently discovered victim number 13. This corpse also had their heart intact. The police still haven't even identified a suspect. I've got a working hypothesis. Very few people knew the details of the original crimes and would be able to copy Sullivan's M.O. so precisely. First, I'll head to Silent Hill, to the graveyard near that beautiful little lake. Maybe I'll find the answer there. Okay, so he went to the graveyard, he found there was no body, he found out that Walter was Walter's 11th victim. Interesting. So if it is still water, why did he stop cutting out hearts? That's that's intriguing. Okay, I'm gonna save and then we'll pop back to the other world to see how Eileen is doing. Uh. Mm. Oh. Henry. 
free. Oh. Have you been here the whole time? <laughs> yeah. And I didn't see any hole either. You just disappeared all of a sudden. I can't stay here by myself. I'll be cursed. I know it. What am I gonna do? I might know a way to save you. Do you know about someone named Joseph? Um, yeah. He, he was the guy who lived in your apartment before you. I think he was a journalist or something. months before you moved in, but toward the end, he started acting really weird. Yeah, he was doing an investigation about a religious cult and a man named Walter Sullivan. I got this letter from him. He told me to go down, down into the deepest part of him, and to look for the ultimate truth. Let's do that. There must be something down there. Okay. I'll do it. You're the only chance I've got. I'll stick with you. Aw, look at Henry. Suddenly, suddenly got someone to talk to and he's all knowledgeable. Can I give you this, Eileen? Thank you. Uh, right, I'm going to equip my gun and we're gonna skedaddle. But yeah, it's nice to see Henry coming into his own. You know, he's the man with knowledge, he knows things. Disturbing, dark things, but things nonetheless. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it, I thought it, oh, oh my god, stupid stair physics. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, this is... This is interminable! Okay, well, that didn't go so well because we now have no bullets. Wow, the temptation to scum save is strong, but we won't. No, Henry, I want you to open the door. Don't stamp on her. Oh my god. Well, isn't this just lovely? Just having a nice, a nice walk with Eileen. You know, getting to know each other and everything. Henry finally has a friend. And now we have to lead her through this horrible, misty world. It's funny because I, I was wondering when we would see some patented Silent Hill mist. Ooh, is this a safe spot? Yes, it is. Hello? I'm getting a very bad feeling all over. Maybe I've been holding something that somehow weakened this? What? 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 Do we want to use this in our home? 
Okay, well, I put my holy candle on the floor. I think that was a mistake. What on earth is going on? I wish I hadn't used that. Okay, so, full disclosure, last time I played, I ended up rage quitting. Because it really annoyed me that I used up all my ammo. And it really annoyed me that I wasted that candle. So, I admit, I, I rage quit. I quit the game. I didn't save. So we're doing this again. I've done this again. I now have revolver bullets. I still have a bunch of... What is this place? It's, it's somewhere very deeply disturbing, Eileen. Please don't interrupt me. Right, so we still have a lot of bullets. We still have revolver bullets. We're in a much better place, basically. So it's just our windows that are going bonkers, basically, at the moment. And I guess it's just random hauntings. Yes, I know. Uh, so last time it was actually the clock that was going crazy, and this time it's the windows. Um, I don't really know how we're supposed to mitigate that. Yeah, so frankly I don't know what to do about the hauntings at home, but you know what, it doesn't matter, because Eileen, we are together, and we're going to do this together, and we'll be, we'll be fine somehow. Let's just put on my axe. I've brought my spirit medallion, just in case I need that. But yes, we are descending into the belly of the beast. Into the belly of Walter Sullivan, actually. Or his brain. I don't know. We're in Walter Sullivan's psyche, I guess. Oh, she's not that far away. Come on, Eileen. There we go. Oh god. Trippy camera angles. Excuse me. Anything here? No? Okay. So there are two doors. Ooh, another candle. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so I could have got another candle if I needed it. I, I didn't know that, obviously, and I just didn't want to waste the other one. Uh, what do you think, Eileen? Left or right? Do you have a preference? I wonder if Joseph is still alive. Uh, well, that's that's not exactly what, what the answer we were looking for, Eileen, but you know what? We'll go in the left door. Oh, okay, never mind. It's locked. Of course it's locked. It's Silent Hill. Ooh. Hi. Haven't seen you in a while. No, no, no. Don't, don't get, don't get nifty with me. I've got Eileen with me, so behave. I can hear more monkey men, that's fine. Uh, what's this say? Sorry? Information for the Lynch Street line and the King Street line. Is this really South Ashfield Station? <gasps> what? You mean we're back here? I should have brought my tokens with me, Eileen. We might need to get a train. Didn't even occur to me I might need them, to be honest. Hello. Hi, boy. There's a good boy. Just take the wacky wacky. Okay, so we're back in the subway. That's fascinating. This... Oh, I recognise this. Oh my god, this is... This is back at the beginning of the game when Henry and I were still in the early stages of our mutual relationship distrust. Look at your little weird twitchy head on your chest. That's just adorably horrible, isn't it? Oh my god, that's the door that I couldn't get in last time, isn't it? Please, I'm... don't leave me alone. I'm, I'm not leaving you anywhere, Eileen. Calm down. Yeah, that's the door I couldn't get through last time. That's interesting. Ooh, I love this. I love it in games when you go back to areas you've been in before. 
I just find, I just think it's really cool for that to be a thing. Hello. There are probably ghosts around here somewhere. Um, not least Cynthia's ghost, of course. Anyone in here? Oh, slugs. Okay. I wonder if there's still a safe spot in here. Oh no, it is here. But it doesn't look like it works. Oh, it does work. Okay. That's okay. Okay, I might save then. And I am going to get out my tokens while I'm here. Because it seems sensible to me. Oh, hello. What? More mail? It's a filthy envelope. There's a letter and a toy key inside. Mummy, I'll give you this, so please wake up soon. It's inside my toy train. Hmm, interesting. Toy key. A key-shaped plastic kid's toy. Okay, interesting. There's a scrap of red paper. I found two mysterious and powerful artifacts that seem to be very effective for evading the ghost victims. The Holy Candle and the Saint Medallion. Not only are they effective against the ghost victims in the other world, they also seem to prevent them from invading my room. Just light the candle near where they're coming in, and its holy power is activated. The Saint Medallion seems to repel unholy energy when it's worn. I'm starting to gain some hope. Okay. So actually, I wasn't far off thinking that the Holy Candle needed to be used in the apartment. I just didn't put it in the right place. Oh, hello, Eileen. You've just been standing here in the slug corpses, I see. Not where I would choose to stand personally, but you know, I am not your mother. Can we go in the men's? Because there was a statue of that, um, of Cynthia, which seems to be gone now. Oh, hello. Give me. Thank you. Ah, oh, getting a bit of a, getting a bit of a full inventory now. Excuse me. What is that sound? It sounds awful. And now it's and now it's all quiet. Okay. Fine. Just just freak me out and then leave me high and dry. That's absolutely fine. What is with those marks on the floor? is that what the fuck is that is that Cynthia what the fuck feel I'm going to regret the fact that I did not bring um, my sword. I should have brought my sword. <laughs> 